So I'm just done cooking this delicious palm oil, tomato, garlic and ginger stew. I'm going to turn off the heat right now and serve. So if you like this stew, if you like the taste of palm oil stew with garlic, ginger, fish and tomatoes, join me as we begin cooking right now. Come with me and please don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, like and share this video with friends and loved ones. This is our fish in palm oil stew, very, very, very delicious. The kitchen, the whole compound is full of this aroma. Let's cook together. Join me. Hello, good morning. Thanks again for coming back to my channel and coming to join me in preparing this palm oil stew with fish, garlic and ginger. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the likes. I'm grateful for the shares and all the thumbs up that, that the thumbs up that you have give, been giving our channel. Thank you so so much. Today I'm going to show you how I make this stew. But first of all, to make this palm oil stew, I will boil this or just parboil the fish with garlic, ginger, onion, and seasoning only before pouring in the tomato. So for now, I'm going to steam this fish. Blend these ingredients together, use them to steam the fish, and then fry the tomato separately and add to our palm oil fish stew. So please, let's cook this stew together. So here is the onion, ginger, garlic, and seasoning cubes. Two seasoning cubes. We pour in a little water to enable it blend. Blend some more. So it's blended very smooth right now. This is our garlic, ginger, onion, and seasoning cube. So I'm going to add them and the fish in the pot. This is the fish. That's the fish in the pot. That's the fish. And here's our blended ingredients. We are going to place on the cooker and start steaming. So we are going to let the fish cook. In these blended ingredients before adding our tomatoes. This pot of fish is just a blended ingredients. So I want to make sure the garlic, ginger, and seasoning is on every piece of fish in this pot. Then I'll cover the pot and let them cook while I go blend the tomatoes. So here is the tomato we are going to use for the stew. I'm blending it with the onion. The tomato is frozen. I'll have to chop it. They are all very, very hard and frozen. We'll chop, blend, and then cook our stew. It's very simple. Let's go. 
blending the tomatoes, onion, and pepper. They are already in the blender. This is my water. So here is all the blended tomato, pepper and onion. I will fry them separately and I think the aroma of the fish, garlic and ginger has filled this kitchen. So let's go see if it's boiling because once it boils we turn it off and wait for the tomatoes. It's boiling so I'm going to turn off the cooker and fry the tomatoes. Okay, I've told you back. There's oil on the bottom. Because you wipe this place and put them like that, the oil from this one will stay in the top of the mm. I don't want to bleach the oil, so we'll just test for hotness and fry. So with this little piece of onion, I want to see if it sizzles. I think it's hot. I can hear the sizzling sound. The oil is hot enough. I don't want to bleach it. with frozen tomato so it's really really frozen there you can see the blended one is not really red because it's frozen and now it's as if the oil is no longer hot so I'll just fry in little batches right now I'll wait for this to get really hot before I scoop in some more blended tomato so I will just have to wait the pot is hot I'm going to pour in some more tomato the blended tomato is so much when we are not going to cook with everything. I just take what I need, boil the rest and freeze. Or boil and use for another pot of stew. This should be okay for my stew today. This is okay for the fish stew. We boil this and keep.
Yeah, the water is drying up now. You can see the oil separating from the tomato. It's not yet cooked. The tomato is not yet cooked. I will cover the pot to boil some more. Get the seasoning cube. I can cook palm oil stew, like now I'm making palm oil stew. Yeah, okay. But some people cannot cook even palm oil stew. Yeah? Yeah, I'm cooking. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why when I'm cooking like this, I use video to record it and show them how to cook and help myself too to improve <laughs> of my cooking. <laughs> has been cooking for so long because I wanted it to dry up yeah now the oil has completely separated you can see the tomato is dry so this is how I know that my tomato is ready for the stock is dry the pot is dry you can see it you can even see the bottom of the pot when I stir and at this point you can scoop out the oil Look at it, just separated completely. And you can see the tomato like little lumps of a goosey or something. So now I'm just going to add it to the fish that is already cooked with some ingredients and let them simmer for some seconds or a few minutes and we are ready to serve the stew with our rice. The fish is back on the stove. Yeah. We just pour in a tomato and cook on low heat, very low heat. I don't want to crush the fish. No stirring of the pot. And the heat is going to be low. Then I cover and let them simmer. I want the fish to enjoy the tomato and the tomato to also enjoy the fish. And when both blend, we have our pot off 
palm oil, tomato stew with fish, garlic, ginger and onion. So at this point the cooking is almost done. gently shift the pieces of fish so the tomato can get to the bottom of the pot. I'll check for salt and add if there's need for some salt. No need, it's okay. So, ooh, <laughs> the aroma alone tells me that this is so, so delicious. I'm going to check again for salt. Our fish stew is ready. A pumpkin fish stew is ready. Let me bring it closer. Now you can serve with the boiled rice or serve with your yam. You can serve with plantain. You can serve with any cup of choice. Delicious. It's lovely.